Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is the first time you're ever seeing my channel, welcome. My name is Emily. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been on my channel before, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Happy Friday, everybody. Nah. And for today's video, I am going to be doing a skincare haul. I recently got some stuff from Sephora, Ulta, and CVS. So I threw it all in this Sephora box that I got in the mail and I'm ready to go. So right now, my skin is so problematic. I've been trying to figure out what is causing it. I don't know if it's something that I'm eating or if it's a skincare issue. So I ran out of quite a few things over the past month or so. So I thought I would take this opportunity to try a bunch of new skincare items to see if something can help my skin. My skin is very, very dry, sensitive, very red, and acne prone. So I kind of have a lot going on with my skin. Most of these things are new, things that I've never tried before, but there are a couple repurchases in here, things that I know I love. So let's jump into the skincare haul. The first item that I will be trying out is this face mask I got at Ulta. It is by the brand Freeman, and it is an anti-stress clay mask. It says it instantly clears pores and balances for renewed skin. It's a 10 minute mask. Since I have acne prone skin, I thought that this pore clearing mask would hopefully help with maybe reducing the acne that I get on my face, so we shall see. Next thing that I picked up is this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. It's for normal to dry skin, and I've heard that CeraVe is really supposed to be good for sensitive skin. It says that it is supposed to cleanse, hydrate, and helps restore the protective skin barrier. And this is made with hyaluronic acid in it. The problem with my skin right now is since it's really dry and sensitive, I want to get things that are moisturizing, but it's also acne prone. So I feel like those skincare products are geared more towards oily skin. So I kind of had to get a combo of both to hopefully try to find a good balance. So obviously this is geared more towards the moisture side, but I'm excited just to see a nice gentle facial cleanser for my sensitive red skin. So we'll see how this goes. Next item is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. Normally I just use the knockoff brand of the Neutrogena wipes, but since my skin is having such a rough time right now, I almost want to like wipe everything out just to see if something that I'm using right now in my skincare routine is causing this issue. So I just got these sensitive wipes. I also know that the Simple brand is supposed to be good for sensitive skin also. So next up is a repurchase and it is so amazing for dry skin and it is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herb and rose water. I freaking love this facial spray. I have never tried this one before. This is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I got this one because I'm going on a trip this week and I, I want to be able to take it in my carry-on. Like I, I love it so much I can't even go on a weekend trip without it. If you have dry skin, you have to try this. I think for this four ounce one, it was seven dollars. It is seriously like a drink of water for your skin. It hydrates, it makes your skin feel awake, alive, it puts moisture back in your face even when you have makeup on. I cannot say enough good things about this facial spray. It's incredible. I I love this facial mist and I'm excited to try this one. Next up is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I got this just for my trip this week. I've been using this for about a year now and I love it so much. I love using a gel in the morning. It's just so lightweight for your skin. Your skin just absorbs it so quickly so when you put makeup on, it's not like sitting on top of a heavy cream or a heavy moisturizer. It is so nice. I love this. And again, I got it just for my trip. So that's how much I like it. So next up is the Collagen Elastin Moisturizer by St. Ives. I used to use this moisturizer back in the day. Honestly, it's probably been like five or six years since I've even used it. And the reason why I bought this after so long is because I really wanted to find a good thick neck moisturizer that will preserve the skin on my neck. So I just couldn't bring myself to buy the $45, it's like the Tarte, is it the Maracuja Neck Treatment? Or it's something by Tarte that everyone raves about and it was like 45 bucks and I just I just couldn't do it. And I just remembered how thick this was. So I'm gonna try it. And it's filled with collagen and elastin proteins. I don't know what elastin is, but I know that collagen preserves your skin. So next I got the Origins Drink Up Intensive. It's an overnight mask to quench skin's thirst. So there were three sizes online and this is the second size. I just wanted to see if I like it before I purchased the full size. People were saying that it is such a thick moisturizer and it is so amazing for their dry skin. Others were saying that it's just an average nighttime moisturizer. So I wanted to try it for myself. Anything that says it quenches skin's thirst, that's my skin. 
it's thirsty for the hydration. So that's really what intrigued me to get this. I've been using the same nighttime moisturizer for about nine months to a year now. So I just wanted to try out something new to see if I'm missing something. So we'll see. Okay, so I don't really know if this falls under skincare, but we're gonna go with it anyways. And it is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I actually use this on my skin today and I put it back in the box because that's just the type of person I am. But I loved the way it looked by itself. Like I'm serious. Like I feel like on days I don't wear makeup, I can see myself just putting that on my skin just to make my skin look like glowy and radiant all by itself. I'm digging it. So I got a couple things from Sephora. The first one being this Bosha Clear Complexion Cleanser. And this is for problematic oily skin. And it says, a refreshing cleansing gel that thoroughly cleanses while it helps purify and refine pores to maintain a clear complexion without irritation. So it is geared towards more oily skin, so it might dry out my skin a little bit, but that's why I got some of the more hydrating products. And I think this was 26 or $28. So it's a decent size for a cleanser, but I mean, it is a little more pricey than I would like to pay, but my skin, honestly, my skin just needs help right now. So I am excited to try this and see if it helps. Usually I do just cater more towards my dry sensitive skin and not my acne prone skin. So I'm hoping this will help. I'm anxious to see if it will because my skin seriously needs help right now. And then I also got another product from Bosha and this is the Balancing Facial Tonic and it is for all skin types. And it says a soothing and refreshing tonic that hydrates as it conditions and prepares the complexion for your skincare regimen. It says the lavender water calms and refreshes and an amino acid promotes softness and moisture balance. So this is also five fluid ounces. Oh yeah, I forgot this was pink. That's cute. That's pretty looking. And this is actually a spray. I feel like normally toners, you have to like put on a cotton pad and then rub all over your face. And people were saying that they really liked the spray instead of that. So I'm anxious to see if I like this. Hopefully it does balance my skin. Again, since my skin is red, problematic and dry, it's like, I feel like I just can't win. It's so frustrating. So hopefully that helps. Next, Next that I got is the Biore Pore Unclogging Scrub. This is one of my faves. I've been using this for probably two years now. My husband loves it a ton. And this deep cleans pores and soothes skin. And it's a salicylic acid acne treatment, it's oil free. This is such a gentle pore cleanser. I love throwing this in my skincare routine two nights a week, I would say. It's just so gentle on my skin. A couple nights a week, I do really love a good exfoliant where it just gets everything out of my skin, gets everything off the top layer. But then most nights I do need something a little bit more sensitive. I don't like to do that every single night. So I really love this for unclogging your pores and keeping them clear, but still being very gentle with your skin. So I love this. I've loved this for so long. I just needed to repurchase it. Last item that I got in this entire haul is actually a makeup item. And it is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And the reason why I got this and actually threw it in with my skincare haul is because lately every single time I wear makeup, it results in some sort of small pimple or small breakout. It results in some sort of something on my face. So it makes me not wanna wear any makeup, but sometimes I do need a little bit of coverage on my skin. So I wanted something that was super lightweight, super natural looking, but still gave me a tiny bit of coverage just to cover up just a little something, you know? So I've heard lots of great things about the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So I wanted to try out the travel size first before I purchased the big one, just to see if I like it, of course. So that's why I got this. I guess sort of goes in with skincare. So we'll see. I have really high hopes for this and I'm hoping that this will make my makeup more lightweight and not result and as many breakouts. So in a couple months, I think I wanna do some sort of update on these 10 or 11 products and let you know how they're working with my skin, if they're helping, if they're making it worse, if they're worth the money, etc. So I think I'll do that in a couple of months. I am so excited to start using some of these products to see if they can help my skin because my skin just needs a lot of love right now. So I'm hoping that some of these products will work for me. And if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and never forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos with me. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time, bye.